Hey everyone, I'm Julie Schumer. I wanna welcome you to my Santa Fe studio. I'm standing in front of a blank unstretched canvas that when stretched would be about 46 by 54. And I'm gonna take you into my little inner world of how I do a painting from start to finish. We're gonna go over all of the different things I'm thinking about, what kind of tools I'm using, the paint, etc. So you can have an idea of what a painting process is like from start to finish. So there's a lot of different ways I like to start a painting. Sometimes I'll take a variety of mark making tools and I'll start making marks and maybe I'll fix some of those marks with a gel gloss medium or a spray fixative. Other times I'll start with paint. Maybe I'll use a regular paintbrush or an unconventional tool, whatever kind of strikes my fancy on a given day. And I'm not really thinking about what I'm going to be painting ultimately. I'm going to try and let the painting take me where it wants to go uh, for a while at least. So I think today I'm going to start out with this angled three inch brush. It's Jack Richardson's brush. It's a great brush to use. And I'm going to put it in water and take some ultramarine blue paint, dip it in water, and just make a few strokes atop, across the top and let them drip. And I'll do this kind of across the painting because I'm in my, my blue and green phase right now, which is not a palette that I usually use, and so it's a little more of a challenge for me, a little, it's a little harder. And maybe I'll pick up a scraper and kind of scrape this is a really wonderful tool it came as a set of about three or four of different widths and i wish i could tell you the name but it was a gift so i don't and it's not marked so i don't really know who makes those And then I'm going to take one of my favorite unconventional tools, which is a long handled shower brush that you can get in a hardware store or Home Depot. I'll dip it in some water. And I've got this kind of tealy green blue. Look, now I've gotten water all over the place, kind of a mess. And this bit makes the marks across the page. Then I've got some, a few mark making tools here. We'll try with a few marks now, just randomly. I've got a yellow woody, a stibulo thick woody pencil. I've got kind of a light orange one. And it's really fun to draw woodies into wet paint and get an interesting effect. And then I've got kind of a turquoisey green one. So now we're gonna let this dry for a few minutes before we proceed on. So I'm thinking now I wanna add a little black to this and characteristically I start with black marks, but I've been trying lately to get out of the rut of doing that and starting with color instead. So I've got this kind of a barbecue basting tool that came out of the local grocery store, uh, you know, kitchen gadget aisle. And it makes interesting marks because of the spaghetti-like nature of its, uh, its like brush things. So we're going to dip it in a little water, and you know, just you can see the kind of interesting marks it makes. Kind of these parallel lines. I kind of like that. I'm a big fan of the unconventional. Although I don't really like to make my own tools, I buy them someplace. They seem to hold together better. And we're gonna try also, this is another version of that previous scraper I showed you. We're gonna do a little black on a different part of this canvas. Maybe let's take a sponge one of these Home Depot type paint sponges, dip it in a little water, and I 
just kind of let it be. Scrape it. Well, I'm just going to get the residue off of this. We'll work with it best we can. So now I'm going to let this dry then for a little bit, and we'll come back in about five minutes. <laughs> 